Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Whatever It Takes Wednesday. This is episode number 34, and I'm doing this after a whole day of taking care of my kids and just handle my business, and I thought it would be a good idea to actually make the topic about about that. And um, I was supposed to actually have a special guest on here this week, and they ended up having an emergency flight, and they weren't actually able to be on on the show, you know, for for today. So, you know, with with that being said, you know, just taking care of the kids and doing all different doing doing all different types of things throughout the course of the day. I got busy, and I finally have been able to hop on here now and just talk about this thing. Uh, welcome everybody. I see I see it's all. Uh, all piling in here. I, I appreciate everybody, everybody uh, joining me in discussion. And uh, I'll tell you guys what, <laughs> as I as I wrote the description for this for this show, I'm like, man, I'm like, this is so funny, man. Like time management with kids, working from home with kids, sports with kids, working out with kids, homework with kids, cleaning with kids, doing the dishes with kids, taking out the trash with kids, bedtime with kids, getting on the bus getting on and off the bus with kids, dinner time with kids, time with kids, like quality time with kids, right? <laughs> Married with kids, and then, you know, laugh out loud, it is for life with kids. And I I just think it's uh, I think it's something that's, that's probably not given enough credit to the the ones that actually really put in put in put in the work. Um, there's so much there's so much to being a parent. And after thirteen years of being a parent, I, I, I definitely am definitely am not here to say that I'm an I'm an expert, but I, I'll tell you one thing about myself is I'm I'm very self-aware and I'm a very present present parent. I don't always do the best I don't always do the best job to pay attention to my kids with everything that I've got going on. You know, my, my business, I work from home, and that kind of thing. But uh, but I, I do my best to do everything. I'm a firm believer of the saying, you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. So I'm like, I need to be a good you know, I need to be a good uh, dad. I need to be a good husband. I need to be a good business person. I need to be a good son, family member, friend. You know, uh, contributing member of society, right? So I got all these things, that, you know, on my mind, and, and I'm sure you guys all do too, right? It's like hard to, it's it's hard to manage all these different things, but uh, you know, but as long as we always keep showing up, you know, that's uh, that's the most important important thing. But uh, just to share a little bit about my story. A little bit about my story with with being a parent. I mean, I've been a parent for 13 years. Um, my first daughter, my first daughter, I ended up becoming um, the primary parent with. I won't get into like you know how that happened or anything like that. But uh, but I'll tell you guys what you know when when you have a kid, it's uh your first kid is a, is, is an extremely life changing situation because all of a sudden you're not responsible for just you anymore. Now you're responsible for you and somebody else and. And um, the first that first year of being a parent was uh, definitely my, my hardest one. I was a single a single parent. Um, like I said, I was a custodian parent, so I was you know with my daughter all the time. And uh, I can I can still remember days of just like her crying and stuff like that, and not being able to get her to stop crying. And and I remember talking to my mother like, oh, she won't stop crying. I don't know what to do. And I would go in the other room and be like, oh man, I wish she would stop crying, right? You know, then I would come back and I, you know, I would look at her and be like, "Why won't you stop crying?" And I would almost start crying. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> it just wasn't, it just wasn't easy. You know what I mean? I always like to say to my, I always like to say my first kid whooped me, and my second two kids I whooped. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> that's one thing about being a parent too. It's almost like you got to be careful what you say. You know, it's like, like, like obviously that's a metaphor, but like, you know, it's like. You know, you can't say stuff like that in society today, like whooping your kids, right? It's like, you know, people be coming after you for, for that kind of thing. But uh, but anyway, one thing one thing is for sure, um, you know, having you know having kids, uh, you know, and, be, and being a, a parent for 13 years, and um, you know, always always being here, I've just I've learned I've learned so much about myself, so much about my kids, and. Um, you know, it just really, it just really changes. It just really changes the the way that you look at things, and you know, and, and why why you do what you do. You know, being 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 a, a parent, and 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 one thing is for sure. I'll, I'll just share a little bit. I'll just share a little bit like about my my life. You know, like even like today, like so, like my dog, my uh, my kids now they're, they're six years old, ten years old, and thirteen years old, and and um, 
I'm trying to do like so much stuff all the time. Like, you know, I work from home. I'm always challenging myself in all kinds of different other ways. And it's like, you want to get like so much done in a day. And it's like, how can you get so much done in a day? You know, when there's, there's all these things, right? The list just never stops. The list never stops. It just keeps on going. And it's like, how do you do all these things? Like, so today, like I had my, I had my, my 13 year old daughter, I had her cutting up vegetables. I had my uh, my t my ten year old uh, daughter. I had her, had her uh, cooking meat, and we ended up having tacos today. <laughs> if you follow me on Facebook or YouTube or anywhere, you know that I, I love tacos, <laughs> right? But uh, but 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 one thing one thing is for sure, you know, managing a household and things like that. Like some of my some of my friends run their household like the military, and I just got a great respect for them, and and I'm always looking to learn from them. I'm asking them questions and things like that and always looking to improve the way my householders ran it. You know, it's like, it's really important how, how you run your household. But one thing that, one thing that I noticed for time management and, and for being very productive and things like that is like this ongoing list the list that just never ends, like cleaning, doing the dishes, like, you know, taking out the trash, all these things. If you don't get your kids involved with those kind of things, they'll just come up right behind you and just make like, like I just, I just don't, I just don't tolerate it. I'm like, you know, like, you know, like just, just doing this, like they'll just, they'll just make a mess right behind you. You know, if you won't get them involved, you know what I mean? So, so just, just, just share my perspective here on, you know, on this, on, on this show tonight is, uh, you know, is this just, just about getting the kids involved. I think that that's, I think that's key. You know what I mean? Like I had them cooking dinner. I was getting my work done while they were cooking dinner. And then I was like, I'm going to do those dishes. You know, when you guys are done, you guys are done cooking, we're done eating. I'm going to do, I'm going to contribute and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get and do those dishes and things like that. And, um, you know, by, by, by doing that and breaking it up and having teamwork, you know, we always like to say in our household, teamwork makes a dream work, right? So that's like a big, a big saying in our house. I gotta go to another page so I can actually see those comments. Looks like there's some people dropping comments and stuff. <laughs> there's Kellen Ambrose, my man. It's like, damn kids, parenting wisdom is needed, so needed right now. Yeah, man, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so happy to, happy to share, you know, happy to share my, uh, you know, my my perspective. And uh, I'm a full time, I'm a full time parent, man. I'm the, uh, you know, I live and breathe this stuff. I'm, you know, I don't ever talk about things that I don't really have experience with. You know, um, a lot of people, if you guys follow me, a lot of people might know, like my wife, she got a, a job like four or five months ago. She was just like tired of entrepreneurship, tired of like ups and downs and like just dealing with problems and things like that. And she just, everybody's not an entrepreneur, you know, like a lot of people, a lot of people just like my wife, she's a worker bee, you know what I mean? Like she would help me with my business. She would just be like, just tell me what to do. I, I don't want to deal with no customer service or talk to nobody that's angry about X, Y, Z. You know, I just want to just work, you know what I mean? So she, she decided like four or five months ago, like, that's it. I just, I, I want to work a job, you know, and you know, it's, I'm happy for her because, you know, I, like I always say, you know, God forbid anything ever happens to me, you know, like, you know, it's good for her to be able to take care of herself, right? So, so over the last four or five months, I just been like full time, full time dad, just like at home, like while she's working and running my businesses at the same time. So it's been, it's been a lot. It's been a lot for me to me to handle. You know, three kids, getting them on the bus in the morning. You know, getting them, uh, getting them off the bus in the afternoon. You know, making sure they eat dinner. Making sure they brush their teeth. Make sure they go to bed. You know, wake them up. Make sure they do their homework. Sometimes, the, sometimes these schools they give they give so much homework. It feels like it's home, it feels like you're just adding work to your day. You're like, man, I'm trying to get my stuff done, and you guys are giving my kids all this work. Like, why don't they just do all their work at school? You know, what I mean, they're already at school, so so it can definitely it can definitely be frustrating. But if I could give any perspective, you know, any perspective and any tips and things that I think that are really powerful, um, you know, that, that uh, you know, that I do with my kids is uh, is one is just, Make sure they're involved all the time. You know what I mean, and, and uh, you know re reward them for for their progress. And and uh, so some stuff I just tell them like you know like they're like ah oh, you know like I want to get paid for this and things like that. You know what I mean, like you know like for just basic stuff. And I'm like, look, you know you made that mess. You know I'm you know you make this mess over here. I'm cleaning that up. You know I'm I'm if I vacuum the whole house, that means that I basically cleaned up after everybody in the entire house. So. One person does the dishes, they do everybody's dishes, you know what I mean? So it's like they're just, you know, I, I don't know what it is with, with kids, you know, these days. They just like, they, they, they don't want to, I mean, it's probably always been like this, you know what I mean? But, you know, but when you have kids, you notice 
you know, what their habits are and what they say other kids do and things like that. And, and uh, I just want my kids to have work ethic. You know what I mean? If your kids, if your kids don't have work ethic, like, you know what I mean? Like everywhere they go, everywhere they go in life, you know what I mean? They're still going to be there. You know what I mean? And if you don't have work ethic, you know what I mean? Work ethic is key. I actually thought about doing the show tonight about, I actually thought about doing the show tonight about conquering thyself. And if you can conquer yourself, you can conquer everything because, <clears throat> because that, that's like a real major key to success is just conquering yourself, conquering your own DMO. You know, because it's not what we do once that matters, it's what we do a little bit each day over a long period of time it makes a difference. I say that all the time. I try to instill that those kind of habits into my kids. I've been working on getting my kids to make their bed every morning. I watched this video recently, um, and it was talking about if you make your bed in the morning every day, what that does is it gives you like a little bit of like a, like a, like a rush, like a, like gets your endorphins going, makes you happy or whatever, like you completed a task. And what that does is it makes you want to complete more tasks. And I, I, I make my bed every morning, and it's like my first like checklist. I actually like to make my bed because if I'm doing laundry or like or if I'm using my laptop, I like my I like my bed to be like you know flat so that I could do stuff on it. And that's that's actually more the reason why why I do it. But by by doing that and starting up my day that way, you know, it makes me end up going and completing completing more tasks. You know, from doing that. You know what I mean? So, so that's a really, uh, you know, really powerful tip that I, I would like to, you know, share too. If you can get your kids making making their bed, you know, in the, in the morning, that'll make them more, that'll make them more likely to do more of the other tasks and things that you ask them to do. Another thing too is if you could wake your kids up early in the morning. Like my one son, he fell asleep at like eight o'clock tonight because I wake him up earlier with my other daughter um, because my other daughter gets up earlier. So I'm like, Lexi, what you're getting up to? I'm going to have you guys eat breakfast and everything like that, you know, and, and then when they're doing that, you know, they're starting their day early. You know what I mean? You want some mommy and daddy time at the end of the night? Um, you know, we, we all we all need that, right? <laughs> so, if, you know, if you, if you want that, you know, get them up early, you know, get them up early so that you can, so that they're, they're in bed and they're in bed at night, you know, early. So... Hey, like I said, like I said in the uh, description too. Hey, if you got if you got me beat, man. You know, put your numbers on there. I like I love I love to see, I love to see how like how long some of you guys have been parents, how many kids you guys got. You know, you know, you know. Put that stuff in the comment threads. I would love to hear. You know, I'm gonna write it down in the comment threads so you can see how many kids you all have. How many years you've been a parent? Parent of love to hear. <laughs> yeah, my man Kellen Ambrose. He heard, heard me uh, heard me arguing with one of my kids kids a little earlier. Thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> On speakerphone, you know it's funny working from home too. Like you know, like I've done, I've done like so many, I've I've coached so many people in business over the last year, and it's funny because my kids would be like, sometimes my kids would start fighting in the background, and I would be like, I would be like embarrassed, like oh don't be fighting, and like you know they're like killing each other in the background, and uh, it's funny because all the people that I've coached over the years, or you know over the last couple years anyway, you know, they would all like it. They would laugh. They'd be like, yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. You know, because, uh, you know, it's funny how, how much we're all, all alike. You know what I mean? How much we're, we're all, all alike. You know what I mean? Because everybody else's kids are at the, at, you know, at the house killing each other too. But, you know, they're just not hearing it because it's not on video or they're not getting the, getting that sneak peek. You know what I mean? So it's, it's funny how, how, how many, you know, all the, all the com, commonality there. So, but yeah, like I said, you know, if you catch us, you know, feel free to drop, you know, how many years you've been a parent, how many kids you got. We'd love to get to know, you know, get to know some people. I, I remember I spoke at a, I spoke at an engage, uh, speaking engagement um, about a month or two ago, and I got to be like one of the speakers or whatever. I was really grateful, you know, for, for getting to be one of the speakers at the event. And, and, um, and this, one of the first guys that went up there and spoke, his name was Daniel too just like me and he's talking and he's talking about his kids and things like that and how he's like working his business and 
you know, he's a speaker and, you know, he's a part of a nonprofit and all this stuff. And then he says, I got 11 kids. And I'm like, wow, man, this, this guy's got 11 kids. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So if you only have one or two or three or something like that, just, uh, you just, just imagine it could be something like 11, right? <laughs> right. Hey, what's up, Alexios? What are you doing, man? You're, you're up now? So, so my youngest son, come over here real quick, Alexios. So my youngest son, he, he fell asleep early tonight, you know, from, from waking up early. And, uh, you know, now he just, uh, just, just snuck out of bed here. Here, drop in and say hello, dude. <laughs> so, all right, be good, man. Go back to bed, man. Be good. So, but, uh, but yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, you know, having three kids and, you know, uh, working a business and, you know, keeping the house clean. You know, I, I like, I like what I heard one, one of my friends say, he's really successful in his business and things like that. And, and uh, one one thing he said that uh, really stuck, and I think I've heard this from other like work from home moms and things like that, is is um, you know just just getting yourself used to working inside of the chaos. You know what I mean? Get yourself used to working inside the chaos and being willing to let go. You know, be willing to let go. You know, if, if uh, you know everything's not done, because here's the thing. You know, the to do list is never always going to be done. But as long as we show up every day, you know, we're always having progress, you know what I mean? Always getting things done. Like, uh, you know, like, like I said today, you know, we all had tacos. We sat down and ate dinner. Um, I actually swept the floor, you know, all the floors and I did the dishes and stuff like that and did the trash. You know what I mean? My kids, you know, I had to make sure my kids were cleaning up other stuff. But like I was saying earlier, you know, it's one thing I do. It's like if I'm cleaning, I make sure that they're cleaning at the same time because if they're not cleaning at the same time you're cleaning, that means that they're going to be making a mess right behind you. So so if I could give one really good tip, you know, about having a clean house, you know, and, uh, you know, and getting stuff done is to make sure that they're, that they're working at the same time because if they're not working at the same time, they're going to be making a mess behind you, and it's going to be like, it's going to be like, uh, I don't know, like a hamster on a wheel, right? Thinks he's going somewhere, but he's not. I mean, I don't know if a hamster really thinks he's going anywhere if he's spinning on that wheel. Maybe he's just getting exercise. I mean, I'm no, no uh, uh, you know, expert with about hamsters, but but you get the you get the idea, you get the idea. You know what I mean? You're spinning your wheels. You know, if you're if you don't get your kids involved, you know what I mean. So. So if I can give any words of encouragement there, you know, you know, get, you know, get the kids involved, you know, with doing stuff. True. I have been a parent for 18 years. I have four children, one boy, 18, three girls, 15, 12, and 10. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Feel free to drop some, feel free to drop some, some wisdom, some wisdom bombs there, down there at the bottom. So gotta make sure my, uh, I had to make sure my uh, my computer was plugged in there. All right, cool. Ten percent charging. Hold, hold on one second.